the fawn and the mountain lion. When is dismissing another's report an act of injustice? It's late. Let's go to the lake to get some water before it gets dark. Wow, I would love to gobble that up. Oh no, never mind the acorn. Mummy, Daddy, I just saw a huge mountain lion behind the bushes. We have to go. It is not safe here. If there was a mountain lion behind the bushes, I would have heard the steps. You must have imagined it. I am not sure we should stay. Shouldn't we listen to Little Fawn and get back to the herd? He has never lied to us before. Calm down. Young ones don't distinguish reality from imagination, and they always try to draw attention to themselves. Why don't you get some water, Little Fawn? You will be thirsty otherwise. This water is delicious, so fresh. Are you okay? We sometimes dismiss a report when we don't trust the speaker due to some negative stereotype. Hmm. But in dismissing what the speaker has to say, we pay a high price. We reject information that can be valuable to us. You are right, wise owl. In our herd, females and fawns are never listened to, but little fawn recognizes a mountain lion when he sees one. To dismiss him is not just risky, it is an injustice. He should not be silenced when he has something to say.